doing? Oh, why are you riding on me? Stop throwing stuff. Yo, it's actually working. Are you serious? I just created a bigger mess. In today's world, life is just difficult. And that's why in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys life hacks that you can do in your everyday life. People are just not doing things right. What are you doing? Any cereal. This man needs a life hack in his life. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get today's video started. Super fast. Yeah. <laughs> do 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 Shoe hack. That was hack number one. If you're gonna be late for school, you can tie your shoes a lot faster. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your laces, go under, just like so, pull them down, and then with the right lace, you're going to grab your two fingers and go under. With the left lace, you're gonna grab your two fingers and go under and around. Go through, grab the laces, and then pull. That's it. It's so easy, it's so simple, and it's so insanely quick. Like guys, check this out. My shoe's completely untied right now. Boom, can't compete. struggled with dipping Oreos in milk? It's one of the hardest things you can possibly do in life. Well, today, I have a solution for you. I can't get it out. I can't get my Oreo out. I can't. What are you doing? Can you help me? My Oreo's stuck. No. What is that? Are you from the future? Mm-hmm. What? The secret to this life hack is you grab a fork, grab an Oreo flavor of preference, and you just put the fork right in the gooey white middle, dip it in for as long as you would like. In this case, we're gonna wait a little bit longer. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then, mm -hmm. and, and then- we'll Cooks to perfection. You don't cook Oreos. In life, the most difficult thing is closing doors. Doors always open for you, but they don't close themselves. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today I have a solution for that, the self-closing door. <laughs> Jen, how much you weigh? That close your door. 177. 177 pounds. Yay. That's uh, 30 miles per hour in Australian. He's not wrong. I'm doing all this so I can self-close my door. This is a contraption we have made. The self-closing door. Ladies and gentlemen, let me demonstrate. Great success. The door here is almost fully open, as you can see, and we let go. The self-closing door. Ladies and gentlemen, we're living in the future. So this contraption we have here is fairly, fairly simple. We have a water jug right here. You can use whatever you want. You could use a brick, a dog, really whatever. And then we have two hooks right here. One tied to the door, one tied to the wall. Whenever the door opens, the weight goes up. And then, obviously, well, gravity is supposed to play its part in the self-closing door, ladies and gentlemen. Making breakfast the most stressful meal of the day, early morning, 7 a.m., right before work, the last thing you need to do is start sweating before you go to work. So ladies and gentlemen, an easier way to make eggs. Now, let me introduce my egg structures. <laughs> instructors, egg instruct, yeah, okay. <laughs> What you got there? Oh, hey. How you doing? You got a whisk? Uh, yeah. Stop using the whisk. I have something better. Oh, you have a fan? That's your idea? Do you want me to explain to you how I'm gonna make this work? Sure. So, we have a fan here with three blades, three, and no more. Hot glue, hot glue, hot glue. Those are chopsticks. These are chopsticks. Hot glue a chopstick to the fan blade. Oh. Whee! I see what he's getting at. Now that our glue has dried for a little bit, we are going to... It's not plugged in. We need to plug it in. <laughs> then we're just gonna hopefully... Oh yeah, there it is. Mm. Look at that. Just really working at it. It's starting so work, to work. Working at it. It's, it's starting to work. Okay. Kind of working at 
You, you still got. It's actually working. I'm kind of surprised. Just very slowly. You know, I might recommend maybe buying like a, a stronger fan if mm. you try this. You know, if you believe in yourself and your whisk, anything. Are you possible. supposed to tilt the bowl when you whisk it? Uh, I could just tilt the whisk. You're throwing <laughs> eggs everywhere. <laughs> Great success! 10 out of 10, would recommend. Life hack! Look at that, ready to cook. Is he here yet? Nicole, you're supposed to be here in 10 minutes. It's been more than 10 minutes, it's been 11. <laughs> ah, stop! <laughs> there is someone coming here to fix all your shark. Oh, hi, how you doing? Somebody call an expert? Yeah, hi, Nathan, nice to meet you. I'm the expert. I'm sorry, I have a crazy child upstairs. My expert I have... and my expert of expertise of sharpies. Okay, well, here's the thing. I have Sharpie everywhere. I have, sharp... I have Sharpie on the walls, I have Sharpie on the ground, I have Sharpie on me. I need you to fix it, please. How do you remove Sharpie off tile? I can fix this. Is that toothpaste? Wait, there's something wrong with this toothpaste. It is not efficient. So what we're gonna do is just fold the back like that. Just move all the toothpaste to the front. What did, what did and then we're going to use a binder clip, put it on the toothpaste, just like that. Okay, that's a different life hack. Okay, I'll go back to this. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Toothpaste. I think so. Remove Sharpie off tile. I think so. Stop throwing stuff! Yeah. Oh, it's actually coming off! Yeah. Comfort. Yo, it's actually working! Okay, I'm gonna need you to remove it from my unspeakable shirt next, please. I gotta put this on oh. the- Your kid is a- uh, Little wild. A, yeah, little he's crazy. a handful. He's a handful. Uh, Every day. Every... Do you see what I have to deal with? Why do you treat your father like this? Is that a Sharpie? That used to be a polar bear, now it's a panda. He even drew on this. See, my son has a crazy addiction where he just draws on everything. I don't know what to do. And now there's popcorn everywhere. And you know, really, I really want to get Nah, it's stale. <laughs> ah, I just created a bigger mess. Stop fighting back. Communicate. I'm gonna buy every Sharpie in the world so you can't use it. Look at that. Gabe the Life Hack Pro has removed the Sharpie from the Nile. 98% done. With toothpaste. Can I show you where the next Sharpie spot is? Yeah. Me. Okay. Right here. Oh. This looks kind of like an angry face. And it's Sharpie. It's never come to any not coming off. So, yeah, that's just great. How do you. um? Hold my Jeremy. That's for your shirt, by the way. Really? Yes. And for the wall, actually, we will use. It's actually coming off. Toothpaste. Toothpaste on the wall too. You just really like toothpaste, don't toothpaste you? Toothpaste is amazing. Does many things. Wow, it's actually coming off. Germex removes Sharpie. Hey, is that my phone? You see what I have to deal with? Keep it's rubbing. Very unfortunate. Keep rubbing okay. so you can get out of this house. I'm just gonna keep putting Germex in my shoe. All right. Well, it looks like we're coming along rather well on this wall here, sir. Sir, you know, I'm just gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the, the cleaning supplies for you. I'm alive. I'm good. We're, we're, we're okay. I'm good. Sharpie Pro Life Hack Expert, where'd you go? Did he clean the wall? Oh, he did. Nice. Oh, he forgot to do this. Okay. Luckily, I know how to easily take Sharpie off of whiteboards. This is a super simple and easy life hack. As you can see, this is Sharpie. If I try to rub on it, it's not coming off. To remove Sharpie from whiteboard, you're actually going to use an Expo marker and you're going to draw over it. Kind of make like a little circles. We're going to draw over this entire thing real quick. 
All right, there we go. So we have drawn all around this. These fish here are still Sharpie. Now check this out. Take a nice little paper towel roll right here and we are just going to rub it right off. Look at that. Comes right off. <laughs> And as you can see, the fish are still there and they're not coming off because we didn't put Expo marker over them. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. So now we have colored over the fish. Let's take this. Boom. Like magic. Oh, Simon! Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Hey. The worst feeling in the world is when loved ones ignore you. Are you tired of your cat ignoring you? Well, I have a solution. When your cat ignores you, just throw some googly eyes on the back of his head. That way he's always looking at you. Oh, Simon. Oh, look, your real eyes are looking at me. Oh, look, you're still looking at me. <laughs> hey, cutie. Hmm. I promise no animals were harmed in this video. We can just take these right off. Here you go, buddy. They're all good. Yeah, it's so gross. Well, hey, what are you doing out here? No, I was just eating my popsicle. It's just melting. It's just life's terrible. Oh, you should put a one of those pieces of paper that go under a cupcake. Were you born on Earth? I think so. How do you think of stuff like this? Here, try it. Yours looks to be a little bit more melted than mine. Dude, this is genius. It just captures all of it. Sick! Hey, James, you want a bite? No, I'm good. Look at all these shirts. Bro. I don't know what to pick. Dude, me either. It's like, like, oh, I want that one right there. That one. I don't have that one. You don't? No, I need that one. Well, they looked oh, like. It smells terrible in here. Good thing I brought my lemons. You guys need to freshen up this room a little bit. Jeez. What are you doing? Sir. Stop. Get out. What? Sir. Why are you leaving lemons You've never in done this? PC? Dude, if you put lemons in your computer, it's, it's going to make the room smell good. How? There's fans in the front of the PC and the back of the PC, so it just takes air through the PC, circles it out, and it's like a, literally, we just, I just made an air freshener. You could just turn that fan on. Yeah, but that fan doesn't have lemons. But, but I you could duct tape lemons to it. I still smell. I can smell lemons. Smell it over here. It's, it takes a second to like warm up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, there's so much cat hair in your room. Oh yeah. <laughs> Use this, bro. <laughs> This is how you clean cat hair. Usually, you would use these to clean your shower. It's and squeaky. You pretty much can use it to get cat hair out of carpet pretty easily. There you go. I've Look at all that hair. One section. Look at all that hair, just from right here. Disgusting. Or you could use a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> oh yeah! This is how you clean up cat hair. You just, you just. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you want to see a part two to this, let me know by leaving a like on this video. And um, also, you guys can click below me to subscribe to the channel. I really hope you guys learned something helpful during this video, you know, that you could apply to your life. Oh, and also get your merchandise. Yes, we have those for sale.